Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in with version two of the vision. As we can see here, we're on the ramp here at Teterboro, and the new liveries look good. In this video, we're focusing solely on the VAM system and highlighting where it's moved and what now you have. However, starting off, you can see that these new liveries are pretty slick, so it's hard to ignore. That is pretty good looking. So let's go ahead, jump inside and see what's changed. So when we come inside, there is a little bit of notice in the geometry. They did rework the model. Uh, most stuff is in the same places, but VAMS has moved. You no longer have to turn on the G3000 to get access to it. Instead, we look down here and you now have a little iPad that you click on. So when we come in and we look at the VAMS, we now can see it. And that ability to store and hide can be bound with LVARs. Yes, that means third-party software because these kinds of special custom events don't exist in the Microsoft SIM bindings to begin with. So now your VAMS is no longer in the G3000. So under statics, you still have the chalks, the storage cover, your covers and protectors, your luggage door, and they reintroduce the ability to toggle the external GPU on and off. So if we go ahead and get rid of our storage cover, that of course will get rid of the exterior cover. Uh, and when you come outside, you do have those chalks. And look at that. I love how they put the logos on everything. So your chalks have your logos. They've got the storage covers. Uh, and then you've got the other covers, so your protectors and covers, right? So the pedo tubes, uh, the AOA indicator, um, and of course the engine cover. So if we wanted to remove that, when we do that, everything goes out and hey, there's that beautiful turbo fan, uh, but it removes those items. And again, just like uh, all the other items there are LVARs so you can go ahead and bind those to controls uh, like I've gone and built my stream deck having the function of VAMS added to it. So what else do you get? Well you have the chalks as we talked about and what's nice is the descriptions are here for you so you're gonna see them when you're on the ground the parking brake is on and the speed is less than two knots. So if you were, had this enabled and you were screaming down the runway and you cranked on the parking brake, uh, the chocks are just not gonna magically show up until you come to a full stop. Uh, but if you remove the parking brake, so if we go outside and we turn off our parking brake, you'll see that all the covers as well as the chocks will disappear. Uh, even though they're still enabled, that parking brake is still one of the requirements for them to be visible. So there you have it. Of course, you can turn on the luggage door. And so when we do that, we come over to this side, you can see the luggage door and you can also control that via an LVAR. Then you've got the external power GPU. And as soon as you turn that on, uh, you see that the garments come alive and the other thing to note is when you look down here your battery switches are no longer controllable um, the jet is going to force them on so that is something in the coding of the vision uh, that when you do enable the GPU you will not be able to control the battery switches the plane's going to force them on uh, that's just working around a couple of limitations to ensure that the battery power uh, is handled correctly uh, for the ground power unit. And of course, it sits out here outside, uh, makes a nice loud sound, uh, and you can see the connection here. Now you can control this with a standard SIM bar. So if you disconnect the GPU, uh, that will disconnect and hide it. So you can still use your control key bindings and that is the standard external power key binding. So all that's functioning and is present. 
when we come to the luggage, this allows us to set up our different luggage looks. So first thing we need to do is open that luggage door uh, and then we'll hop outside real quick and we'll come over here and looking in, down, not up. Uh, so you can see this is when it's set to none. And if we come in and we set up for a snowboarding trip, when we come outside, we can see our snowboarding gear has been put in. Uh, again, all of these different things can be added to using Elvars as well. So there we've got the golf trip or you've got the family vacation. Uh, you can control all of those elements. Or, of course, you can do it right from the VAMs. Under your status, this allows you to set your mode so you can set to cold and dark, ready for taxi or ready for takeoff. Uh, again, you can add those as Elvars if you have hardware and AAO, Spadnax, those types of things. So for the Bose, you have the ability to put the headphones on. That will make them disappear. They go on your head. Uh, now you'd be able to enable the active noise reduction. As you can hear, the sounds go away. Or hear the sounds. Under the FAQ, you are going to find the QR code that you can scan that will take you to uh, the Flight FX website to get all the information. And then under config, this is what lets you set up how you want the inside of the plane. Uh, so when you look inside the plane and we look in the back, we have the different configurations. And if we look at the configs, this would be the executive config. And if we go to the complete config, you can see that we move to the different seats. Uh, and then if we go to the family config, uh, you can see the shrinking down of the main seats to allow more space. Uh, generally, I would have thought that the executive with that nice armrest is something we're going to roll with more. Forget those little kids, right? I'm sure my kids would hate that. That covers the VAMs, and when you're good, ready to go, and don't want to see it, just go ahead and click on the outer area, and your VAMs is going to go ahead and hide and tuck its away down here. You need it back, just click on it, and it will come out for you. So as mentioned, all of these items in the VAMs can also be set up using external software like SPAD.next. So there's statics, luggage, status, the Bose section and even config and all of these elements you can add uh, through these devices or the software to your devices. So we're going to quickly look at an example in SPAD.next. So here in SPAD.next you'll see my Stream Deck page that I've built. Now it actually consists of multiple pages and without going into too much of it, uh, the easiest way is that each one of these pages is actually a different menu. So when you're on the first VAMS page, the luggage button is actually switching to VAMS 2, status would be VAMS 3, Bose would be VAMS 4. So when you look at the uh, statics page, you'll notice there isn't anything in there except for the fact that I mapped the statics with the selector. So this is just the standard uh, Garmin button on that's found online. And then uh, we went and put the statics text on top of it. So really simple stuff. And then all these are the button off with their text label. Uh, this is where we start getting to the actual L bars. So here, uh, the default data is to say chalks. Um, we're using that same Garmin button, so the base data has the Garmin off button and the label of chalks. So when the button's pressed, we are incrementing the Elvar SF50 VAMS static chalks, incrementing by one, limits are on zero to one. What that means is that it'll go from zero to one, and then because it won't allow it to go higher than one, but because we enabled rollover, one will add to it and it'll go back to zero. So this is a way of making a LVAR into a toggle. So pressing the button is going to toggle the chocks and then I set up the data that if the static chocks equals zero, show the off button. 
if the chocks, the Elvar for static chocks is a one, then you will show the on button because the label is always chocks. So your storage cover uses the SF50 VAMS static storage cover. Uh, so that's the Elvar you want to reference for the storage cover. For the engine covers and pedo covers, you're going to find SF50 VAMS static covers. For the luggage door, you're going to find SF50 luggage door. Uh, GPU active. So again, the GPU active, you're able to control this uh, using standard external power functions. So toggling the external power uh, that will turn that on and off. Now I've gone a little bit further and I made it so that I could have GPU unavailable. Uh, if I pop the circuit breaker, I would know that the circuit breaker is out. Uh, we can have GPU available, so the GPU is available, just not active, and then GPU active, so when the power is there. So we'd set it up so that multiple different conditions could be handled. Uh, however, you will note, for example, that when you enable the GPU, it's going to turn the battery power on. So some of these modes, like GPU is available, uh, but you haven't turned the battery power on to enable the GPU. In this case, everything just works. Cabin door, uh, you are pressing the SF50 front door. Uh, that is the LVAR to open and close the front door, and then we can track it. So I added the cabin door to my static section just so I can control the door from the same place. That is a would be nice, that would be in the statics allowing you to control the main door at the same time. I, I like that they have that in the HGN. So when we go to the luggage page, so by pressing the button, we then have the LVAR for the SF50 VAMS luggage type. So that's the LVAR, and with the button, we're actually incrementing, but instead we're setting. So the maximum value is, or the minimum value is zero, the maximum is three. We'll still allow rollover. It could be set to no, it doesn't matter. But instead of incrementing, each button is going to set it to the state. So family vacation is a value of one. Golf trip is the value of two. Snowboard trip is the value of three. And none is the value of zero. So that matches in the UI what you see. So if we go to the VAMs and we look at the luggage, uh, none does have a state. And so it lights it up with none when you click that button. Uh, so just like here, we implemented it with a none. So for the snowboard trip, if it doesn't equal three, so if that doesn't equal three, well, then it has to be off. If it equals three, then it has to be the on for the button. Uh, so we did the same thing for the golf trip. Anytime it doesn't equal a two, set the button off. Anytime it equals a two, show the on button. Pretty straightforward. And then same thing here. All of these are just changing menu pages uh, when you press them. So if we go to the status page, it flips to VAMS page three. Now we have the ability to set the SF VAMS status type. So if we set it to one, it'll go cold and dark. If we set it to two, it'll go taxi. If we set it to three, it will go into takeoff state. So it just sets the LVAR, which sets the plane, and then resets it. Under the Bose page, we have the headphones. So green means you're wearing them. Uh, so if we quickly flip back, uh, it lit up means you are wearing them. So if I hit the button, it turns it off. They pop back and show up on the dash. And if we enable it, then they get put on our head and they're now on our head. And of course, we also have the ability to turn on the active noise reduction. So looking in here, we've got our Bose ANR and that uses the SF50 VAMS underscore ANR. So if you toggle that on, the audio goes away as you can hear. And when you disable it, you'll hear the audio uh, in the cockpit come back. Just for fun on the FAQ, I captured the QR code and put it there. Uh, I don't think you can actually pick it up, but it's there. 
and then under config the same thing you can set up the config for executive complete or family uh, it uses a sf50 fams config type and zero one or two so zero is executive complete is one and family is a two there's always room for family finally a piece i added uh which again is great makes life a lot easier if you want to see it but there is an sf50 vams pad and so again if you increment this by a one or a zero so increment by one do the rollover turn it into a toggle now you can make the iPad appear and disappear. So if I click on it, it'll animate away. If I click on it, it will bring it in and I can see it. But that's it. That's all you have to do to also map the Elvars to have full VAMS control as well. All right, guys, that was a quick one. I hope you made it this far. Then please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Come along on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.